Zimbabwe is an attractive tourist destination, especially for desert-dwelling residents in the Middle East. Emirates operates a daily flight between Dubai and Harare, making it easier for Middle East travelers to explore this beautiful country. As a result, an increasing number of visitors from the Middle East are now visiting Zimbabwe, making it one of the new holiday destinations that is gaining popularity among residents and expatriates living in the region. Unlike many other African countries, Zimbabwe boasts of a world-class tourism infrastructure and has some of the most luxurious hotels and lodges in the Southern Africa region. The African Sun Group is one of the largest players in the hospitality and hotel sector of Zimbabwe and runs as many as 11 prestigious hotels and lodges across the country. Established in 1968, the African Sun Group has hotels in every major tourist destination in Zimbabwe and in four out of the five major cities in the country, thereby making the African Sun Group a perfect host for those looking for a luxurious and unforgettable experience when visiting Zimbabwe. Our editorial team stayed at a few properties run by the African Sun during our recent visit to Zimbabwe and we were greatly impressed by the amenities and service levels provided at these properties. We caught up with the Group Sales and Marketing Director of the African Sun for an informal chat. Uh, we offer what every guest would love to experience if they want to get the total Zimbabwean product. And I'll start with uh, what the whole world knows, you know, the World Heritage Site, Victoria Falls. We actually operate uh, two and a half properties there. I'm back to my half again. Uh, the two, I'll start with the two and then end up with a half. The Elephant Hills uh, Hotels Resort and Conference Center, that is the only hotel at the destination with an 18-hole golf course. And it's actually, you know, a very popular golf uh, spot for people that actually are Zimbabwean residents as well as, you know, guests from the world over. Uh, we, we run competitions there, proams, you know, fun golf days and all sorts of things. And you know what the unique thing about that golf course is you actually play your golf with, the, with wild animals. You know, it's not um, unknown to see an elephant, um, a leopard or, you know, an impala walking across the fairway as you're hitting your, your shot from the tee. So that's actually a unique way about that golf course and I don't think there's any other golf course in the world that can offer you that. Then we move on to the Kingdom Hotel. Uh, the Kingdom Hotel is actually, we call it our enchanted city because it is more or less like um, an African village, you know, and it depicts that lifestyle uh, with the white waters running through the center of the property to mimic the destination major feature, the Victoria Falls. Uh, it's um, our family hotel that's what we call it because you know i think it's uh, peculiar at the destination in being the only hotel where 50 percent of the room's inventory actually is catered towards families because you have a uh, bed configuration that enables families to come through and enjoy our properties and now i'll talk about the half uh, the Victoria Falls Hotel and we operate that hotel with our partners the Mikos Hospitality and uh, African Sun all runs 50% of that and Mikos the other 50% and that is the most luxurious pro product at the destination uh, with such a wonderful symbiotic relationship with the destination. It was the first hotel built at the destination because it used to be boarding houses for the railway construction workers who were building the bridge, the famous Victoria Falls Bridge. And that's why they got the best location at the destination. It's the only hotel where you can actually see the bridge from the hotel grounds. And it's a sight for sore eyes. You need to see that bridge, especially when it's lit up at night, because we do have quite a bit of light show every now and again. And uh, that's our half or the third property that African Sun uh, has at the destination. Now we drive 180 kilometers south from Victoria Falls. We come to Wangi National Park. We have the largest safari hotel at the destination in the Wangi National Park. I don't know how familiar you are with how big the National Park is, the Wangi National Park, but it is a destination where you get your big five, 
it is where you actually still have an experience of the bush and uh, you should come watch the Milky Way you know in the Wangi National Park it's it's unbelievable clear skies beautiful sights and uh, it's you get in there, you get to watch game without worrying about the next vehicle coming up and you being asked to move over. So you could be lost in Africa, literally lost in Africa at, uh, at Wange. And we're actually coming up with a refurbishment project um, for that Wange property, a uh, hundred roomed um, hotel at the moment. We're not expanding in size, but we've actually put up a venue where you can have destination events, weddings and events accessories and a water hole right in front of the hotel so you can actually view game right from your from your balcony at the hotel you don't even leave, have to leave the property and you're guaranteed of a sighting from the water hole so anyone who wants to be in the bush but you know safe to watch the wild from a distance you can actually do that from the comfort of your room because the water hole is right in front of the hotel and then we drive down another 200 odd kilometers and we end up here where we're at in Bulawayo and uh, African Sun uh, runs the Holiday Inn brand in Zimbabwe. We run the IHG franchise for the Holiday Inns in this country. With three of them, I'll start with the one here in Bulawayo, the Holiday Inn Bulawayo and I will talk about the Holiday Inn Harare and then the Holiday Inn Mutare. And you know the Holiday Inn brand, worldwide, renowned. So we get to benefit from um, the association, the um, what do I call it? The frequent fly, the frequent guest stay program that the IHG runs. We actually benefit that, and we actually extend that benefit to our guests. Um, and in Harare, uh, as you know, the capital city, we not only have the Holiday Inn Harare, but we also run a hotel called the Monomotapa. I'm not sure how familiar you, you are with the history of Zimbabwe, but Monomotapa, the Monomotapa Kingdom, is the one that actually built the Great Zimbabwe Monument. He was one of, he was the, you know, the king in Zimbabwe or the then area that was called Zimbabwe. Because you know a lot has changed with all these borders. But what was then the Monomotapa Kingdom? He was the man. And we have our flagship hotel in Arara named just after him. So we got the naming rights for that. And that just shows you how majestic that property is. It's really towering. It, the Harare skyline is not the same without the Monomotapa. An iconic building overlooking the Harare Gardens. Um, wonderful gym that also overlooks the park. Um, 200 odd rooms uh, with a presidential suite that has become very popular with a lot of uh, dignitaries and VIPs and you know guests just that just want to give themselves a treat and feel like you know King Monomotapa so really you know a place where you can come and you know relax and be able to enjoy the sights and beauty of Harare especially at this time of the year when the jacarandas are in bloom and then now uh, we move across to Mutare which I mentioned earlier we have a holiday in there that's the third holiday in and I won't belabor the point because they are more or less the same you know having to maintain IAG standards they would be the same in all the three properties. Then we drive about uh, 90 kilometers I would call it um, westwards yeah it is westwards from Motari. Then you come to Nyanga and we have a property there, the Troutbeck Resort uh, it's a uh, an amazing property because you know the Eastern Islands have got a very different climate from the rest of the country. You could actually think you're elsewhere but Zimbabwe because it doesn't depict the normal savannah dry you know bush that you find throughout the whole of Zimbabwe. Here you've got rolling hills and beautiful manicured you know landscape because it's a wet part of the country. It's actually a very moist part of the country. So throughout the year you know they've got this green greenery that is just so amazing and you couple that with the picturesque skills it's 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 a sight for sore eyes and we've got a property there uh, the Troutbeck Resort with our own dam there where we actually
the hatch and we do a catch and release trout fishing and we have uh, trout hatcheries on the property as well and this is one property where we actually do food foraging where people can actually come on holiday and they are allowed to go into our gardens and they can go pick up mushrooms they can pick up berries and you know all the food that we serve there in terms of vegetables is actually organic because we run our own vegetable there obviously from our vermiculture where we actually grow worms to use for composting and all that so you know quite a, a, a unique property and uh, one that uh, can actually be you know very helpful for people who just want to convalesce or just want a time out quiet time out and now uh, I will quickly take you down to the southern part of the country uh, to Mashingo which is where the Great Zimbabwe Monument is. Uh, that's the National UNESCO World, World Heritage Site, uh, the second cultural World Heritage Site that Zimbabwe boasts of, in, uh, according to UNESCO. And that is where the monument, where the name of the country comes from, the Great Zimbabwe Monument. We have a 47 boutique uh, hotel there, and that hotel is undergoing refurbishment as we speak. We have had the furniture come in, everything is in place, and we should be able to roll out the new refurbished product in under six months. So come high season next year, we will be offering the market that beautiful product. And you literally walking distance from the monuments because we share a boundary with the monuments. We're on the other side of the fence. So they are our neighbors and our guests get the luxury of being able to walk into the monuments without having to drive there, you know, to witness this magnificent splendor of what that Monomotapa kingdom was all about, still standing more than 300 years, three centuries down the line. Uh, an amazing piece of work, which I really would encourage anybody who's interested in history and archaeology to come and experience, because I cannot put it into words. That's how beautiful it is. And really, you, you will be all struck. And uh, I will, you know, take you further north. I'll take you now to the northern part of the country, back again in the Zambezi Valley, same with Victoria Falls, but now slightly more to the east. There is Kariba, uh, the largest man-made lake by volume uh, in the world. And uh, it borders Zimbabwe and Zambia, where we also get our uh, power from, our hydroelectric power, the major supply of hydroelectricity in the country. And African Sun has got the only property that's on the beach or on the lakeside at the destination. An 87-room property called the Caribbean Bay. Uh, 70s uh, style built uh, uh, property that, uh, as the name says, has got a Caribbean feel to it. And uh, we are, you know, very proud to say that it is a lovely property for all those people that want to do water sports, they want to go on, on a houseboat for the afternoon overnight and still come back on land, they want to go fishing, they want to just you know enjoy the sights around Kariba and come and relax right by the lake shores, you know, watching the beautiful lake and the sunset are to die for the sunsets at, at Caribbea Bay. And you get a unique feature in that lake, the petrified trees. This tree trees are dead but they're still standing in the middle of the lake and it's a rare feature it, you only find it at, at Kariba and uh, I think in a nutshell that is the you know the ten and a half or eleven properties that African Sun has got to offer to the world and uh, I can only say you know you you need to see it to believe it 